Now I'm sure you've seen this. It's the magic wallet. Apparently it was invented by French waiters to hold their tips securely. You just open the wallet, slide your money in, and when you reopen it, magically, it has been gripped by the bands. And as you open it and open it on different sides, then it money will swap from the line side to the cross side. Now, what it is, I suppose, technically, is what's called a rolling joint. And rolling joints are themselves absolutely fascinating. You find them everywhere. They're particularly common in biomechanical systems. For example, your knee or your hip are fine examples of rolling joints where the actual bones themselves roll over each other and the whole thing's held in place by ligaments. Now, making a magic wallet, actually there's tons of tutorials on the internet from making them for things like, well, leather or ribbons or even bits of card. So they're not that difficult to make and there's lots of instruction and I had one as a kid and to be honest, I was absolutely mesmerised by it. I thought it was awesome the way it would do that. Now I didn't see one of these in Thingiverse so I turned to Tinkercad and drew this up and promptly printed it out and there it is. Now it's in two parts. And the first part, the grey part, you fold in a Z fold like that and then the black part you fold with a flap under there and a flap on top again in a Z fold. Incidentally, these hinges are 360 degree print in place hinges which I've put onto Thingy First as a separate file should anybody want to use those hinges because of course you can mould them into something or add the holes that you want and it's great for opening boxes with kind of weird tops and weird bottoms. So the hinge is available separately but these bits are available all by themselves. Now once we've folded them into a Z flap we need to glue that into there. So that's like that, that's like that and it goes in with one bit in there, so it glues in there like that, and the other one glues into there like that, and a spot of super glue is good enough to do that. And when you've done that, then you can open it up and you'll find it works just like a magic wallet, which is kind of cool. Now, magic wallets, you take your bit of something, your card or your money, and you put it on that side of the two bars, close it over, and when you open it, it opens on the single bar, which was why they did it in uh, restaurants and cafes. And as you keep on doing that, of course, it swaps just like a magic wallet should. Now, I might make these a bit thinner, they may be a little thick, but that works a treat. <laughs> with these a bit thick, what that's actually showing you is that with these rolling joints, the straps between the joints that allow that roll of the plane of the um, flat pieces, don't take any stresses at all, they're not stretched or twisted, which is why it'll just do that forever, really. But, of course, we've used flat plates, as in the Magic Wallet, but the principle of the rolling contact joint actually extends to a surface of any description, including rounded surfaces. So to demonstrate that, I grabbed this from Thingiverse. It's not actually my design, it's from Brigham Young University who are big into compliance structures. And they were looking at these rolling contact joints and produced this as a flat plate that you fold up. So I grabbed it and printed it off. And what we do is fold this bit and stick them in these bits. Right, as you press on the little semicircles that you can see in there and squeeze them together, they will want to form a rounded surface. It's a bit like origami. So you squeeze those until they're rounded like that one, and then these tabs get stuck in the base unit on that side and that side, and then held in with a bit of super glue. So the key thing to remember is there's some ribs on this. On one of them the ribs face outward and the other the ribs face inward and then don't forget to cross these bands over. If you do that you'll have yourself a flexing joint. It's actually pretty cool. So these kind of rolling contact joints have some serious advantages. One of them is the uh, friction is very, very low indeed. They don't need any lubrication and they're very forgiving in dirty environments when they'll continue to operate. So of course, they're finding their way into things like robotics and, and perhaps not much else at the moment because perhaps we're just not paying enough attention to them and thinking about where we might use a really interesting joint like that. So, 
I wanted to share it with you, particularly, you know, the toy and then the actual application, because I think they are interesting joints and could certainly help with mechanics and machines that people are making. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, and all of the links uh, to the hinge, to the uh, magic wallet, and a link to where I got this from is in the description. Thank you very much. Please do remember to like and subscribe.